Hey guys, and today I'm gonna do another tutorial on another melon farm. You guys remember this one? I said it was really simple, and if you guys wanted a, a harder one, I would do that. And so I decided that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna make a tutorial on a little bit harder, well, and way more efficient melon and pumpkin farm. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna mark out a 10 by nine area, but be careful we want the inside space to be 10 by 9 not the box the inside space should be 10 by 9 then what you're gonna do is you're gonna be like towards the middle of the front row you're gonna put two hoppers leading into a double chest this is gonna be a collection system so then next what you need to do is you need to go to about the center or I would say around here you're gonna dig this all out all the way down and we're going to down two blocks. This is how far we're going down. At the bottom here, we're going to we're going to place redstone torches all around. Now, if you don't want to use redstone torches because you think it's too expensive, which it really isn't, you can always uh, like put levers on the bottom of these blocks. On the bottom of these blocks, you can put levers, which also work. But redstone torches is just simpler for everyone to do. So redstone torches. So the next thing you're going to do is from here, you're going to go two out, two out, dig down, redstone torch, block. Over here, two out, redstone torch, block. Now, this doesn't really need to be symmetrical, so it's not a problem. Redstone rail, I believe it was here too. Redstone rail. Then you're going to grab your actual normal rails, because you don't want to be using too much expensive stuff. If you want to use power rails for the entire thing that's fine you just need to keep it powered then you're gonna go around right and then when you hit this area right here where it's supposed to be powered you just put a powered rail and you just completely make this work so you're gonna turn it around here and then you're gonna go back powered rail okay you guys get the idea i'll show you guys the finished product okay so i just finished placing all the rails so it should look something like that so what you can do is you can place a minecart and you give it a push It'll constantly go around, but that's not what we're going to do right now. I'm, I'm, stop. Good. Because that's not what we're going to do right now. Next, what you do need to do is you need to place dirt all over the entire thing. So, let me give you a little bit of a show. So, really, for this thing, you don't need a 10 by 9 It's just to make the rails look good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this entire line. So, this line doesn't even exist anymore. Okay. Let's just make that happen. Great. Now you see it does not exist anymore. Next, take your dirt and place it all over the entire thing. Fully covering the 9x9 nine nine area. Once you do that, you've got your 9x9 nine nine area, right? This is your 9x9. Nine nine. And that right there happens to be the center. So what you're going to do is you're going to find a stair. I don't care what type of stair. It just needs to be a stair. So I've got my stair, and what you're going to do is you're going to place it in the center. Not like that. More like th Then you can take your water bucket and you're going to waterlog it. So now this is a waterlogged stair. Which means it is just a, a block of water just in a stair. And you should get stuck in that. So this is the center. See, so you can see this four on the side and four on the side. So that, that is the exact center. Next, you're going to need a hoe. A hoe. Yes, you need a hoe for this. You can use a netherite hoe if, you, if you're that rich. I'm fine with that, right? Use a netherite hoe or a normal hoe. It doesn't matter. You can use a stone hoe. I use the wood hoe in my world. And then you need your melon seeds. You'll need a lot of these. You need about half a stack, I would say, a minute, uh, more than half a stack. And pumpkin seeds are also needed. Now, to make this farm extremely efficient, what we do is... So, you obviously, because it's a melon and pumpkin farm, you need to have the things um, crisscrossing, right? Like a zigzag kind of pattern. Like a checkerboard, right? Checkerboard. So, I'll show you what that looks like. It, it, this does not go there, right? And then what you just need to do, you need to place. Okay, so I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, so this is it, right? And they're all getting, um, they're all going to come, like, what, hydrated and stuff. So, you might want to wait for that. So this, all what you need to do next is place your seeds in, right? So whatever one you want more, if you want more melons or you want more pumpkins. I want more pumpkins in this farm 
So I'm going to be placing my pumpkins on the outer line, right? The outer line, this line. Melons will then go on uh, this line. I can't actually remember what my random text speed is that. Right. So then you're going to keep on doing that. So melons, so I want pumpkins, melons, pumpkin, melon, pumpkin, melon, and so on. So now that they're all in place and most of them are hydrated, what I found really does help is to grab yourself a decent amount of bone meal, right? If you don't have any, if you don't have access to a ton of bone meal, it's okay. This part is not actually 100% necessary. It's just to make things a lot easier. Instead of waiting them for grow, you can just quickly bone meal them. Once you, once you get one of these, just get rid of it. And you just, yeah, you just continue doing this. Because when they're hydrated, there's a good chance they'll produce a pumpkin or a melon right when they're bone mealed. So, yeah. This will actually probably take you a few stacks of bone meal to do. Maybe like one or two. Maybe even three stacks of bone meal, depending on your luck. Of how many bone meal you use per thing. Right? Yep. So, if you're wondering why that we have to uh, crisscross them. Uh, like, melons, pumpkins, right? Yeah. So, then... If a pumpkin grows, another pumpkin won't attach to it. A one that's in a different row won't attach to it. So then you get more melons and pumpkins. Right, okay. I'll show you guys the finished product of this. Okay, so I did that really quick because all I had to do was slash game world random tick speed 10 million, right? That's easy for me. For you guys, you guys do need to go around and bone meal every single plant. If you don't want to, that's fine. It, do it doesn't really matter. So once you do that, this comes the tricky part. You need to go one, this is like one, two, and you need to do this, a big fat roof. Wait, no, you don't. You need to go one above that, right? And then make a big fat roof. Now this roof can be made out of anything, it does not matter at all. If you make it out of dirt, it doesn't matter because you're gonna get rid of it, right? So I don't, I'm not gonna make the entire thing because that's just a pain for me. I'll make a bit and I'll show you guys what you need to do for the rest. So that's going to be a nuisance letting them all grow because yeesh. So what you need now is to go to your uh, redstone stuff. Grab yourself a ton of observers, maybe like 40. And grab yourself the same amount of normal pistons. Normal pistons, that is so important. So what you're going to do is on, on top of every single not uh, farm rand, you're gonna have to place one of these. Now make sure they're facing down. I know it can be annoying to make them all facing down, but you do have to. So if I just do a line here, right? Like just a few, that's just two of them, right? So that you have to do that for every single one. Then once you've done every single one, you're gonna get rid of this entire thing. All of this needs to go away. The entire roof can just be dug down. And you'll be left with a ton of floating pistons. So what do you need to do in between these pistons? You have observers, remember? Right, you're gonna use them. These observers will be facing these. So from the top, you can just do that. And that's more than enough. If you constantly do this for every single one that's farmland and you didn't place a piston on, you're good to go. So if this was my entire farm here, which it isn't, that's my entire farm, this would be more or less it. All I'd need to do is to go back to my redstone stuff scroll till I find my redstone dust and you're gonna have to do something like this so you're gonna wire every single one together like this and just say if I had uh, more of them like okay J right I could then just go like this so pretend these are my observers and my pistons in the right way and stuff redstone all over it all over it so then, when one of them were to grow, say if I get rid of this, those are all fire. Right? It's that simple. And then they would fall down like that. You see how they fall down like that? That's really important. That is exactly why we built that minecart rail. So if you are to access that minecart rail, place a minecart hopper and just give it a bit of a push. What I found really useful is to... um use a trap door to get in there it's so useful but if you don't want to you can always just try and find it easier way i don't yeah right so this will be spinning around on the rails don't break anything that'll be collecting everything the next thing you want to do is you want to make a glass encasing so that none of it goes flying out 
So if I had to pull out my glass here, it would be something like this. So like you don't need this, maybe one or two blocks high depending on your choice. And then you'd build it all the way around the thing. So none of the melons or pumpkins come flying out. Which is really important because, yeah. Also, I found that one Minecraft hopper may not be enough because of the amount this thing produces is insane. And every time the thing goes around, it only drops one item into these. So you can either put a ton of hoppers in this line, all pointing at the chest. <coughs> or you can just put two Minecraft hoppers. That's what I did. And it works like a charm. So guys, that's all you really need to do for this farm. Don't make this. Make what I just told you. A uh, crisscross pattern of the of the uh, piston and the observers. Glass. Make that minecart go. And you're good to go. You are good to go with this farm. This farm produces a crazy amount. If like if you see this right now, this, now this is default take speed. And in that time we were talking, all of these things have grown. They would have all been crushed, and new things would have probably grown. That's how quick this thing is going to be moving. So guys, that's going to be it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys did, make sure to give it a like, and hit that subscribe button to never miss another video, and it really helps me if you guys do. So that's it for this time. See you guys next time in a brand new video.